Hello everybody, I'm Podikai, you're the Casual Gamer's Nest and you're watching another episode of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Last time we met this uh, pretty lady, we find out that our doppelganger is a party animal and he likes to kill people randomly and for no apparent reason, but yeah. We uh, carry on with this mission, uh, we had to find something the girl asked. Not quite sure what it was, but let's check it out. Can I get that? I don't want the pump action shotgun, I want the ammo. Oh, can't get any more. Okay. I can live with that, I don't care. Let's change the view. Somehow I don't like when Alan is uh, looking on the right side of my screen. It's too quiet in this neighborhood. Hmm, spider webs. Yeah, hey, flashbangs. I miss those babies. I cannot get more flares. What are you talking about? I don't think there was a limit in the first uh, Alan Wake game. Okay, let's switch weapons. This must be your car. Okay, let's get what we need to get. I don't even remember what she asked for, but uh, oh, it was a flashlight. Not sure. Ah, spiders. That's something new in the Alan Wake environment and world. And they're ridiculously tiny. Oh, and they melt just by pointing my flash light at them. It's convenient. What? I never liked spiders. Where are you? Ouch! Son of a gun. Is there another one up there? What am I looking at? Oh! Eat that. Checkpoint. I think I just got, looks like a camera. Of some sort. Open the door, lady. Wait, why is the star right here? Oh, return to the telescope. That's what I was planning to do before you just... All right. Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Don't worry, it's very easy. So you say. Hop on. I hop on. Install the imaging array. It shall be done. Yes, I'm a genius. Uh oh. Open. Okay. Oh, she so cannot use the elevator. Crap. I don't appreciate darkness in Alan Wake games. You probably know the reason why. Nothing ever works the way you want them to. Somebody just interrupted the flow. So now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but well I got it. Please come talk to me if you have questions. Okay, so there's one uh, star right here. Can I get some extra thingies? Okay, I refill my batteries. That's something. Ha! 
Hi again. Is there something I should know about this coolant thing? Oh no, it's quite straightforward. The telescope is very heavy, and moving it generates a lot of heat. So do all of the electronics. Overheating could cause damage, so it shuts down automatically if the coolant fluid isn't flowing. And hot electronics generate instrument noise, which we want to eliminate as much as possible. What is this coolant anyway? Is it dangerous? We use liquid nitrogen. It's quite safe. Quite safe. We can make it to the valves in one piece. Yes, there is that. Good luck. I'm assuming you didn't have this kind of trouble using the telescope earlier, when my double was here. No, it went very smoothly. Until he turned into a nutter. This doppelganger of yours doesn't seem to want anyone else to look at this phenomenon. Honestly, it seems a little pointless to me. There are many eyes on the sky. I'm not sure what we're gonna get once this thing is working again, but I have a hunch. I doubt it has anything to do with outer space, or that anyone else can see it. I think it's a message for me. For you? That seems unlikely. And even if it were a very localized phenomenon, surely it's visible to others in the area. Maybe. But I wouldn't bet on it. There's a reason he came here, and a reason he doesn't want me looking at it. You seem busy, so I will let you be and go back to what I need to do. And there's a star right here. What's the deal? Am I missing something? Hopefully not. Let's look around. Uh, I already refilled all my weapons and I'm good to go. Release the coolant valves. Okay. Probably the first is truly obvious and... Is it through that door? Nope. Just remember, you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it. Good to know. Let's get the first one. The rest of them seem to be really close to the station, so it won't be tr too much trouble. Oh! Well, hello there! Shooting here compared with the first Alan Wake can say that uh, it's much easier to kill one of the dark presences and uh, way faster. Reloading speed is a tad slower than the first game, but uh, how could I say that the best way not to sound too, uh, I don't know, the speed of fire if that's the way you call it, is uh, significantly faster, which is really good. Unlock combat shotgun, 40 manuscript pages required. And where the heck did I get 40 manuscript pages? Oh, and of course I cannot open it. Makes sense. Can I go down here without killing myself? Should be another way, safer. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look safe. Let's go around it. I don't want to die. There's a car. Maybe I can use the car. I want to drive. Can I use it? Of course not. Decorative instrument of hell. Stupid car. Okay, I think I'm heading back to where I once was and uh, I was going for the one up there wasn't wasn't I going to do that ah oh. or not yeah 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 I was right never mind haven't done this so it makes sense hello everybody a lovely romantic night. Oh gosh! Wait. Let's restock and uh, valve. 
It's right there. I got it. What? Invisible enemies? What do you mean? Oh, Poltergeist, my favorite. Let's check back here. Anything interesting? Something we can get? No. Maybe I can just skip the Poltergeist. You see something of interest over there. But it doesn't matter. Let's move on. Let's go up again. What? Oh, of course. And last valve, which is somewhere inside. I don't quite know. Or not. It was so freaking obvious. It was right here. Okay, that should do it. Yes, but for the time being, is ninja time. Okay, open up. Open up, open up. Dr. Meadows. I released all the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. Why, thank you. So kind of you. That sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. Oh, poop. Poopy poopilicious poopy of poo poo. Okay, yeah, let me get those stuff. Yeah. No, you don't. Get that. Hold it. Yeah, yeah, you're like Barry. Just promises. Well, oh, reload, reload, dude, reload. Is there anybody behind me? Let's make sure. Not. That's it. Nope. Any more of you? Are you alright? Phew! I'm sighted in now. I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but... It's very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. Yes, of course you were. Women! They always say that. receiving the signal now. Oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it, or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a print out of it now. One lady, one thing for sure. In my point of view, you have to consult your personal hairdresser. Your hair is a mess. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. Use? I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. 
Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So... What's in the sky? Stars. It doesn't make any stars. sense. Stars! The stars are just... They're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something. But it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... And for uh, those of you who don't know... Sky. Stars. I think I just said it's from Resident Evil. Nemesis. Man, yeah. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. Okay. Let's use that. A printout of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, I'm glad I don't have to read that. Reality, <laughs> but it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a road map for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. Okay, so far so good. Alan is learning the ropes, going through all this journey to find out what the heck is going on with this mysterious guy that looks like him and what not. So, um, okay, just once the sight of Lurid let's listen to what the guy has to say. Fantasies. It's now the site of an art exhibition, and yet it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. Champion of light. That's me. What? <laughs> what is it talking about? The smell? What on earth? Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. What the heck? You'll get angry if you're here. So, you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. <laughs> I, I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Ladies, She's smoking hot, literally. Look at the I, smoke I I around her. You if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on, accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... it's on the wall, next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. What the heck is he talking hey, no about? Problem. I'm just gonna go do some mother stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. Mm. Alright. Whatever. Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? Because you're posse possessed. It's, darkness. it's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Um... Listen, this is very important. Right. Where did he... I mean... Where did I go? Can you tell me that? Anywhere. You're here now, and you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. I had no idea I was cheating on my wife. Okay. We found out something new about Alan. Oh, you sly dog, you. Okay. And we also reached our checkpoint, so... Uh, I'm going to stop recording right here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Alan Wake American Nightmare. See you around.